What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you didn't watch the last video, I showed you guys all the stuff we got back from Powder Coat. We got this awesome candy apple red clear coat on top of the raw frame. Turned out amazing. We got the swing arm back as well as some of the brake parts and engine hangers and linkage and all the hard parts. In today's video, I just picked up all the Cerakote parts, so all the hot parts. We do Cerakote on, so like the engine, the brakes, and the radiators pretty much, just because Cerakote withstands heat a lot better, doesn't discolor. It's a pretty hands-on process from what I've learned. Um, I personally don't know how to do it, but I definitely suggest if you're gonna have this done, have it done by somebody that knows what they're doing. In this case, I went with the guys over at Moto Whips. They're local to me, they do awesome work. He does a lot of custom builds, but instead of doing it for himself, or as well as himself, he doesn't for customers. So if you're interested in checking them out, I definitely suggest it. Hit them up on Instagram, uh, check out their website because they do some awesome builds and definitely help me out with this project. So without further ado, here is the engine. So we just went with another black engine, which uh, I really was happy with the way that the other gas gas turned out. So we paired it up with a hints and clutch. So while it was all apart, I had them throw that in as well as the cover, just basic black. I know they use certain coatings on certain areas because other parts get hot and then some have to withstand some wear from you know, your boots and everything rubbing up against them. So definitely know what they're doing over there because they've had so much experience with it. And then we have the brake, which um, we did a sight glass delete and then just Cerakoted black as well as black hangers. And then we went with a gray brake and then I had him kind of do the like brushed aluminum, not quite polished look on the Brembo. So that turns out amazing. I think it like, really makes it pop. And with all the other colors that we have going on with this bike, I think that kind of fits in really well, kind of a neutral color. And we went with black with the brake and clutch perches, uh, black throttle, throttle housing. And I think that's, oh, obviously black radiators. So a lot of black going on here, pretty similar to the last gas gas build. But again, with the red frame, I think it's gonna really pop and I'm really excited to see the engine in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing on a tripod. We'll throw this in real quick, and then I can actually link up the swing arm too because that back engine mount is part of the swing arm pivot, so we'll check it out. All right, so here it is. We got the engine all uh, in there with just uh, the bottom, the bottom two engine mounts, and obviously the swing arm. Threw in the swing arm pivot. Um, the only thing stopping me from putting the engine hangers in is they use a torque, and I forgot my toolbox at home that has the uh, torque sockets. So that's stopping me from that. And then I also wanted to throw the subframe on, but again, it's the torques that go mount the subframe here and here up top. So I think next what I'm gonna do is just throw the radiators on, just to, again, kind of show how rad this frame's gonna look with all the black parts around it. And on the camera, like looking through right now, it looks a lot darker than it is in person. And once we take it out in the sunlight, it's gonna look even better. So keep making a little bit more progress. I don't really have much more I can do. The reason I haven't put the linkage on yet is because A, I don't have suspension back yet. And some of the little rollers kind of got damaged uh, during the powder coating process. I know like it's kind of hard to press those out and press them back in without damaging those. They did it fine on the other gas gas or KTM build, but those ones got a little damage, so I'm waiting for those parts to come in. Throw the radiators on and make a little bit more progress on this thing. One thing I realized I forgot to order was the T piece that goes through the frame for the radiator that uh, kind of drops out here. Obviously without that, can't really have the radiators functioning, but just for the sake of to see what it looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and throw them on anyways, but don't blast me in the comments because I know I need to order that. All right, so made a little bit of progress today. Obviously got the engine in, swing arm, and then we just mounted up these radiators. Um, definitely stoked. I really like taking, just like taking it all in when the bike's in this type of stage, just cause every little thing that you add to it, like customize wise, it's really just like changes, I don't know, everything about the stock form and kind of just like seeing the vision come together. 
So really excited about this. I think the frame turned out amazing. And once we have all the plastics on and obviously suspension and all that stuff, we're still waiting on a few parts like suspensions uh, off getting revalved right now. So I'll have some updates on that shortly. Uh, update with stuff that I've ordered so far is the bearings to put the linkage back on, which obviously that's kind of useless until we get the shock back. But I ordered some clamps, so those will be in shortly. And um, I'm, I'm really interested because I, I, I've, I've never really ridden even that bike with uh, a set of suspension that's properly tuned for the track. So I might get that redone for the track. And then this bike, I'll have two sets of suspension. So I'll be able to show you guys uh, kind of how the different valving that I'm going to go with works. I know I get a lot of questions about that, whether I'm going with cone valve, getting another KYB set up. What I ended up doing is just taking the stock stuff and getting it uh, set up as conventional because I'm not a big fan of the air. So we'll see how that turns out. I'll let you guys know how that uh, rides and feels and everything. And then as far as everything else, really just waiting on suspension. Uh, I'm gonna have graphics made up pretty soon. And yeah, I mean, other than that, it'll come together. Oh, also have an exhaust, new exhaust system coming for this. Can't wait to show you guys that. Hopefully it's gonna be a little bit more customized, but I'm um, really excited to get that on, see what that looks like. And wheels are on their way. So that pretty much does it for updates. Uh, next week's video, hopefully have quite a few more parts and tools to work on this thing and put it back together. And then the final video, we'll go ride it. So thank you guys for tuning in once again. As always, subscribe, like the video. That does a lot for me. Tell your friends about the build have some new stuff in the future coming out, as well as something being released in the coming days. If you didn't see it on my bike already, I'm sure you can point it out. But anyways, thank you guys again. I'll see you in the next one.